Well, the tension on Capitol Hill intensifies after Speaker Mike Johnson pushed through a massive foreign aid package. Those bills that were delayed for months by Republican bickering in the Senate, lawmakers gave the green light for a foreign intelligence gathering measure for at least the next two years. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with the latest. Eric. Well, good evening, Tracy. Let's start with the reauthorization of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, known as FISA, a controversial provision which allows for the warrantless spying and data collecting of foreigners abroad by U.S. law enforcement agencies. Many Republicans say that FISA is a critical tool to defending against terrorist attacks on U.S. soil. The carefully targeted authorities established back in 2008 are an essential tool for staying in step ahead of non-U.S. persons who seek to harm the American people. But some lawmakers say it's been used to illegally spy on Americans. Americans should not be forced to spy for the government without a warrant. Ordinary businesses, big and small, should not be made extensions of government surveillance in a way that's going to put their relationship with their customers at risk. Meanwhile, the House passed a $95 billion foreign aid bill for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, ending months of bitter divide, especially among Americans. This is a transformational moment for Speaker Mike Johnson, who put his job on the line to get it passed. It provides for greater accountability over Ukraine aid. It forces an in-game strategy for the Ukraine war. It includes a loan instrument of this foreign aid to Ukraine and the Repo Act, to ensure that Russian assets pay for part of the bill. Iran, Russia, uh, North Korea and China that are working together against democracy, against our interests in the region, uh, supporting terror in the region. So this, this package is key to protecting America's national security. More Democrats than Republicans supported final passage. The legislation also forces the sale of TikTok from its Chinese parent company or face a ban in the U.S. But the measure fails on border security angering many Republicans. Prioritizes the borders of foreign countries over the border of our country, and it departs from really the central promise Republicans made to our voters in, in, the, in this election that we would prioritize the southern border. Several hardliners say Speaker Johnson's days are numbered. I do not support Mike Johnson. He's already a lame duck. If we had the vote today in our conference, he would not be speaker today. He's already a lame duck. He can't raise money. Everyone knows it. We know we can't win the majority next year without raising money. It is important to note that the foreign aid package isn't over the finish line just yet. A number of senators object to Ukraine aid, while others are demanding military conditions for any aid to Israel. The Senate's expected to vote on it this week, and President Biden said that he will sign the bill immediately into law. As for the future of Speaker Mike Johnson, well, this week could prove to be a, a very pivotal week, and we'll have to wait and see if a motion to vacate will follow. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Night.